distress influence disease activity in people with Crohn's and colitis? And how can I manage my stress? Well, I don't have all the answers to this, but I, I think it is important to know that depression and anxiety are actually more common in IBD patients than in the general population. And that can be even when the IBD is well controlled. That depression and anxiety can increase the severity of the symptoms from IBD, can make diarrhea worse, can make pain worse. Depression and anxiety can uh, make treatment less effective. And of course, in the middle of a pandemic, depression and anxiety is rampant in our society. And it's a real challenge for many of our patients with IBD. And I know that perhaps many of you, but many of my patients have really been struggling uh, with these issues. Early recognition and treatment are key. And although access to care still unfortunately remains challenging in Ontario and elsewhere in Canada, this really needs to be brought to the attention of your healthcare team, including your family doctor as well, because there are services that can be accessed. And this uh, just briefly alludes to the whole idea, everything's related. You know, when you think about anxiety, how, how can it possibly relate to a digestive illness? This is a great study done uh, in Hamilton by my colleagues uh, in the Department of Gastroenterology using a probiotic to treat uh, depression. Uh, and that just tells you that everything is related together. A probiotic might change the bacteria in the gut. And it turns out that the bacteria in the gut may have an influence on brain activity. And so, and it's, it's just fascinating to me how interrelated these things are. And it, so therefore it makes sense that if you have a chronic digestive illness, that you may have things like mood disorder or anxiety related to your digestive illness.